Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new episode of TerraTech. Now on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now I told you guys we we're going to be messing with planes on this one, and we will be, but uh, unfortunately we need a little bit of money. So what I went ahead and did is uh, build up this bot right here that is just kind of a money-making machine. It just kind of goes around and, and chops stuff down. And I really didn't need that much money to build this guy. I actually got it all from stuff that was laying around on the ground. The wheels, however... They're really expensive. So what I went ahead and did is pulled those off some of the extra wheels I had on one of my other bots, the, the big guy that you saw sitting over there. And uh, the tractor pads, the GSO tractor pads, I went ahead and bought those. Those were 100 a piece. So not too bad, to be honest, on that one. The wood over here that I'm chopping down is, is, is worthless. It's six a piece that it's getting from that. I could refine it if I had the, the right stuff on this bot to do so. But uh, I don't at the moment, so yeah, th that's going to be a problem right there. One thing I want to uh, to say is <laughs> it's getting a little bit of lag right here because I'm still close to where my main base is, and I got a lot of stuff on this bot right now that I've been chopping down. But one of the things I want to make sure that you guys know of, when you put these things down, these, uh, these drill pieces, you have the option of putting them down just as the default right there, or you can uh, turn them so they go in different angles. And I've noticed that going up, seems to be better because if they're going down they have the tendency especially on the front and the back i don't know about the sides the sides may be kind of worthless to put them there but i figured i'd go ahead and do that because this thing's not as quite as uh wide in the front as i may like it to be i wonder why it's not still selling more stuff there it has definitely stuff in there to sell it's just not picking the stuff up we'll have to play around with that a little bit but uh, i just kind of wanted to pick up everything over here and then take it back to uh, my main base, which I kind of set up from all the bases that we had laying around in there in the desert. To uh, And you can see as it get closer and closer to my buildings over here, it's going to... Right there, I don't even have to turn my gun on. It just, when it runs into something, it automatically starts drilling it. So right there, it was drilling it as well. And here's my base over here. And this is where I kind of come to to sell. There's not a whole lot here yet. It is still, uh, you know, in development, as uh, as you might say. And uh, this thing is a little bit too big for it now. So I may end up having to move my base out a little bit further, building another one out there, not with any money because there's still like 60 or 70 of those things, those, those bases out there that I can do this with. But as you get closer to this thing, it goes ahead and sells it for you as well. So if all these vehicles weren't piling around it, I could just kind of spin around it and use this as the little area to sell stuff from you can see it right there pulling off of it as well now one thing that i could use this vehicle for in the future is to set up a uh, a receiver on here in fact let's let's go over to the the big bot that i have over there real quick you can see the, the lag is actually starting to clear up as i get rid of some of these pieces uh, i do have some weapons on this bot just in case just in case uh you know we run into an enemy i don't want him completely vulnerable because I don't want to lose everything all over again. There's a little dude over there that's going to cause me a headache if I don't kill him. In fact, he's going to cause me a headache even if I try to kill him. And see how well we can do. Not a lot of weapons. Not a whole lot. And uh, he's pretty low. And my guy's pretty high right now because I'm using the big wheels. Again, I went with the big wheels rather than the small ones. is because I, I tried going with the small ones. But they carry so little weight that uh, it really just became, you know, not viable as an option to use that. Because they just they don't do what i want them to do when i want them to carry you know massive amounts of resources especially something this big now this is really my main base up here this is the the base that uh, i'm happy to go with but i'm gonna snag one of these receivers just for now uh, of course i will get more of those as we go out and fight but uh, for now i just want to snag one of those because what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to pick up the uh, the pieces of of armor like the the bots that we have destroyed and pieces of the bases and things of that sort as we go out and uh, get resources see like if i come out here you'll see my tractor pads will pick up these pieces of wood and uh, the receiver will do it as well and it has a pretty big reach on it bigger than the tractor pads does and if i come over here it should snag that piece of uh block if i get close enough to it well it snagged the wheel Let's see, will it snag the block? Yes, it will. Okay, so you just kind of have to run right over it, and it will pick that stuff up for you. There we go. It's picking it up. Come on, get the rest of it. Come on, there we go. And what you can do is you can have it where it will take those pieces apart, at least the ones that it will take apart, and then have uh, those storage things on here. So I think that's maybe what we're going to be working with for now until we get enough money saved up to mess around with the airplanes because I don't want to just build one airplane and be out of money. 
I actually want to build several of them. I want to build, you know, a whole fleet of airplanes and then go off and start exploring places. And that way, when one of them gets destroyed, which they're bound to do because they're so weak, unless you put stuff on them. And if you put stuff on them, it seems to make them so, uh, so heavy that they just don't take off very well. So it's kind of counterproductive unless you do it in a, a meaningful way that actually allows you to take a take into account take advantage of your your pretty cool design and since i'm going to be brand new basically to building airplanes uh, i've done it a little bit in the past so i'm not you know completely new to it but i never really perfected it i never really got the hang of how to fly around very well and i know a lot of you really like it so that's why i kind of want to spend some time doing it but i want that extra little you know um ability what is out there something big yeah there's there's a big geocore one out there you can see the lights flashing and things of that sort uh, again remember these uh these little pieces of wood they only go for you know, i think it was six six a piece so not really worth my time but you know if i'm going to be here in the area and i'm already chopping them down so i can get to other stuff then that's where we're going to go the ones i really want to get the, the the metals that i think are worth the most are the uh am i stuck on something i think i was stuck on something are the uh the green ones but I definitely want to go back to base real quick. I want to buy another piece. I might snag it from my main base as well, the, the main bot that I have over there, because there is a piece that you can use to refine the resources you have. Now, I don't have nearly the, the space on this bot that I do on my main one, but as I said before, that main one is really just too big. This thing is actually really small. If I go into build mode, I'll show you there's really nothing to it there's very very small amount of bricks down there on the bottom and the rest of them are just tractor pads stuffed on top of tractor pads so if that tractor pad in the middle actually gets shot it gets destroyed or knocked off even you know pretty much 90 percent of this bot is going to go flying in every direction so that may not be the the path you want to go down but again i was trying to save on money and that's one of the easiest things to do. Tractor pads are for the GeoCore are 100 a piece. That's cheaper than the actual blocks for Geo for uh, GSO Core, you know, this, or not GSO Core, just GSO. Uh, but yeah, it's cheaper than the actual blocks for that. So it's kind of cool. I like it. I might actually do more blocks with that in mind. I do have a whole bunch of pieces over there. I've been kind of saving as I've gotten them off of uh, creatures we've killed and things of that sort that will allow me to uh, build up the airplanes because those are the pieces we're going to be using. Let's see, what do we got over here? I need, do we have any extras? I don't think we do. Yeah, I think we got rid of all the extra pieces. I do have these uh, these giant storage containers. I think I'm going to use that, actually. I'm going to put that over here on one of these things. Because uh, that is going to allow me to hold on to a lot more of those resources. Uh, other than the uh, the stuff that can be refined. This is... Let me see if I can find a good place to put it, though. Might have to use this block. Let's put that down. Let's see. Can I put that there and then put this on top? I sure can. There we go. And so that's going to hold, like, you know, the blocks, the, the weapons, you know, anything that I get like that. I also want to come out here and get some of the base pieces because we need to build another base. And there's just tons and tons of them over here in this direction. And if I can get all that into one area, I might actually be able to have a decent sized base that will allow me to do some pretty cool stuff. Okay, we got some lights out here. Let's go ahead and pick up all of this. You can see it taking some damage. I'm glad I put that piece right there, the the uh, repair bubble i kind of want to put a couple more on here but i don't want to get bogged down with batteries and repair bubbles and things of that sort like it's really not supposed to be a fighting vehicle if it's fighting it's already doing something wrong so i'm kind of glad with leaving it the way it is for now and just uh doing what we can of course we don't have any conveyor belts and i think that's the the achilles heel to this right now is that's why it's not picking that stuff up and putting it in areas oh we have a ton of more of these things i guess i didn't need to take that off of that guy can we, uh, can we put it somewhere else? I guess we can put it there for now. Let's grab this. We'll stack that there. And uh, we'll stack that there. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I mean, it's it's wonky, but it works. And so I can get out here to this base. One of these bases, two of these bases, maybe three of them. Take them back. This is an enemy base. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and take it on. Kind of don't want to do that because I don't know if we have the, the power stored. I mean, I know we were just back at the... Uh, the town area and that's where it gets charged up let's just move right into this guy and we'll let uh let our drills do our talking for us because i think that's going to do some damage right there in fact i think our drills are getting in the way 
of our bullet, so we gotta watch out for that. Come on. Oh, no. No, we are not losing anything to this guy. That's too much money. Too much money to, uh, to risk it. Okay, so let's get out of here. We'll take this stuff back. We got a lot of stuff on our thing, so it's not a completely wasted journey. And we'll get back. We'll recharge our batteries, you know, pretty quickly, to be honest, because they just sit over there, and they charge up the entire time we're gone. And as soon as I come back, it's able to, to give me that power that I need. One of the things you need to keep in mind, though, is it's not too bad of an idea to set up a wall of sorts. Is that another enemy? Jeez, spawning right there on top of where my, my guys are. I hate this area. This area is very, very dangerous for uh, for things like that. And I need to get some of this stuff off my bot before I just get too bogged down. Now you can see I have it set up right over here on the edge where it has a repair bubble right there. And this is what's going to charge me up. I need to kind of move that off to one side so I can get in here a little easier now that this guy's gotten so freaking big. Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? Let's move this guy off to... Um, we'll move him over here. Let's go ahead and snag that. Ah, crap. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? He came for me anyways. Freaking dude came for me anyways. I hate this guy. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? You know what? We're not going to be fighting with this guy. We're going to be switching over to the other, other enemy. Come on, let me... Let me get a hold of this other... Come on, why won't it let me take over this stupid... Uh... Oh, jeez. Come on. Let me take it over already. Oh, man. Okay, you're, you're getting me frustrated here now, guys. It won't let me take over my other bot. The one that actually has all the weapons that I'm double-clicking on won't let me do anything with. I'm just glad that he's stuck over there. Undo, yes. I want to undo. I want to take it over. Why won't you let me take it over? You know what? You know what? I don't care. I don't care about you anymore. You you were you were dead to me. <laughs> I am gonna put Come on! I just put down a cab right there on top, and it still won't let me take it over. Your anchored blocks are under attack. There we go. Finally. What are you waiting for? I don't know. But you you're annoying me to no end. There we go. You are dead. You are dead. Come on, die, die, punk. Oh man. I'm so glad he got stuck for as long as he got stuck because we would have just got wrecked right there. In fact, we're still kind of getting wrecked right here. Actually, no, that's those pieces are him. Yeah, and I do have AI modules onto that uh, other bot, so he's going to take off. He's going to go do whatever it is that he wants to do, which I'm fine with right now because whatever he does is still better than what was going on a minute ago where I had no weapons on him. And I wasn't expecting that uh, these guys were going to spawn right on top of my base. What I'm going to do now after this fight is over is I'm actually going to build some guard towers around here because uh, yeah we got two guys over here just wrecking my stuff and that's that's just unacceptable not to mention the amount of lag that's gonna be caused from all this junk laying around and waiting for me to come over here and pick it back up of course it's good money good money but this is one of the things I was telling you about guys when you have plans when you when you're trying to do something the game has ways of saying nope not right now you're gonna be doing something else in the meantime so you take that into account when setting things up. I'm going to go kill that other guy real quick because it seems like uh, they are not going to be happy until they destroy my main bot. And that's just going to make me cry because it's a lot, a lot, a lot of money. I'm talking probably about a hundred to 200,000 in, uh, in BB cash. So, yeah, it's not a small chunk of change right there. There's some uh, fuel tanks or there were some fuel tanks on that guy. Come on, let me kill this guy. Ah, there's so much junk over here. So much junk. Okay, let's get this guy back to where he needs to be. Let's get get him up. Come on, come on. You can do it. Do some of the boosters. Should help him up. Come on. What are you doing? Are you just stuck? Hey, they're spinning the wheels, but you can see that uh, it's not quite touching the ground, which is why it's, it's having that issue. Let's get this guy over here. I want to park him right here in front of the vehicle, right here in front. I think that's going to give my, my guy the rest of the side over there. So let's park him there. Let's uh, see if we can take over. There we go. Uh, it's so easy to take this one over. It wasn't uh, wasn't easy a minute ago. Oh, crap. It has all my plane pieces. Oh, no. I don't want them to have my plane pieces. Because uh, I want to save those. Oh, and it picked up those things too. Dang it. What are you doing? What are you doing to me, guys? Come on. There we go. Put that there. Where is my wireless charger? Wireless charger's in there somewhere. So is the shield generator. Let's put that down too. Put that back over here on top of that. 
Um, hmm. What we need is something we can put on the ground that's going to hold these pieces for me. Such as... Hmm. Kind of a bot. We almost need a bot laying there on the ground to hold this stuff. But you know what? I'm just going to drag it and drop it over here for now just to get it off of there. Just so I can start selling the other stuff that I don't uh, necessarily want. And I do want this stuff over here next to my base so it's at least somewhat protected. There you go. Plain pieces. All of you. Lights. I don't want. Wills. I don't care about. I can always buy more of those if I need them. What else you got in there? No, nothing else. Okay, let's run over here, see if we can pick up any of these pieces. A few of them will be picked up, not much, but, uh, oh wow, actually tons of them. Let's see, can we get over here in front to, uh, no, there's another plane piece. Let's snag that. We'll drop that back off over here in a second. Actually, I'll just drop it off right there. And if I get close enough, will it take it off? Yes, they will. See, look at that, guys. It's taking everything off. I'll just sit here and wait for it to sell these items for me. That's going to make me a good bit of cash. A good bit of cash if it starts selling. I don't know why it's... Not. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's selling. Okay, so if I move this station a little bit off to the side, that's going to help me actually move this thing a little closer onto two sides. And if I can sell from two sides alone, that's going to allow me to sell 20-plus items at the same time, which is good. So let's move this over here if I can. In fact, I might even just move it somewhere else completely different, but in the future let's let's put that there uh yeah you can you can stay right there where you're at dude come on let me zoom out a little bit when you're this high up off the ground sometimes it gives you issues i've mentioned that before but it is kind of an annoyance that you got to get used to until uh there's some way to control the elevation of the objects you're placing down on the ground so far there isn't anything like that you just kind of have to get a little closer perspective to the ground itself for you to reach that Okay, so let's see if we can get a little closer to this side. Okay, so it's reaching from both sides now. That side right there. And how about on this side? Nope, not quite. I may have to get rid of that corner piece if that ends up being a big thing. 1960. Wow, what did they sell in there that was worth uh, 1,960 credits? I don't know, but we're going to pick up a few more of these things. And then I am going to, of course, like I said buy a few of the uh, tractor not the tractor pads the conveyor belts because that is one of the reasons it's not sticking to parts of the uh the silos so i could even pick up even more of these objects <laughs> and i think i need to put a, a repair bubble on this side alone because that's where all the items are going through and as they go through they're taking a little bit of damage on those blocks and the last thing i want to do is have those blocks destroyed because they're picking up items i mean that's what it's it's supposed to do so let's see i am going to come to this side over here whatever terminal you click on when you activate it is that's where they're going to be dropping stuff so i want it away from this area so i don't accidentally pick up and sell exactly what i just bought so let's see what do we got uh no we need a repair bubble there we go let's see repair that's good actually we'll go with two because i plan to put another one of those those things on here in a minute let's see put you there for now uh where did it go under the wheel, okay. Nope, we don't want you on that one. Let's put that there. Ah, come on. I don't want to sell it. Jeez, that... What is wrong with you? I want you on the side piece. There we go. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Attach it again. You guys are driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so it's on there now. And, uh... We're going to go ahead and sell this piece as well. Get that out of there. I need I need to get rid of these pieces. I don't need these tractor pieces on there. This one I'm going to keep. This one I'm going to get rid of as well. I don't really need those. Now let's see. Do another one. We need another one of these repair bubbles over here. Where is it at? Did it pick it up? I think it did. Or did it not just... I don't know. It's not even selling it to me now. There we go. Okay, where'd you go? Come on, let me see. Right into the wheel, just like the last one. So let's drag it over here out of the way. And I need to figure a way... Oh, come on. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Roly-poly. Come on, there we go. Okay, I got you. I got you. Let's put you over here. Way, way over there for some reason. Just went ahead and flopped over. 
Uh, what am I going to attach that to right there? Okay, that works. Uh, I guess, maybe. That might not actually work. We may end up having to... Why aren't you taking more stuff off? I know you buy those things. Let's see if we can get over to this one. See if it will take that stuff off for me. No, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't want to take that stuff off. Hmm, that is interesting. It takes some of it, but not all of it. Okay, well, let's get rid of this, because this is getting in my way, and I'd rather not have it on there for now. Come on, stop doing what you're doing. Uh, it's, it's a beast, guys. It takes a couple of seconds for this thing to stop moving. Let's go ahead and drop that down. We'll, uh, we'll drop it over here for now on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and manually stuff all this stuff over here on the side and let it sell if it will. You know, sometimes if you don't get it right on that little piece, it, it definitely doesn't want to uh, sell it for you. So that is kind of an annoyance right there. Uh, another shield bubble. That was one that I bought a minute ago, but we don't need it at the moment. Let's see. Put that right there. Now, if I actually have this going up a little bit, and that's, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to have a couple blocks here so that it goes a little higher up for the receiver. That means uh, it, it can go down a lot easier. It can't go up as easy. So having just an extra few blocks here is going to help me do that. Let's do this. Let's do, yeah, five or six of them should be fine. And we're going to come up over here and go up one. That's good right there. And we're going to do the same thing. Let's move this down. Actually, I want that directly underneath if I can. Uh, it was there for a second. There it goes. It doesn't really like the area, but uh, I'm going to force it upon it. And this side's going to be a little bit off center, a little bit off weight. You know, it's going to be picking up a lot of stuff. But, you know, again, I want that, that extra ability right there for it to pick up all that stuff and kind of hold it. Now that I have the room, I'll go ahead and put that there. And I think it will still sell, but I can go ahead and raise that up if I want. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise that up a little bit so it can uh, sell stuff. And I do have a thing over here that will allow me to, what is this? Is this uh, player tech? Well, it would be nice if you told me what it was instead of just player tech. I think it's the, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's the fabricator or the, the refinery. I guess we're just going to leave that over there for now. That's something I'll have to mess around with at a later date once we get all this set up the way we want. Okay, so that is all looking good right there. We need a few conveyors. Yeah, that's why those things are not moving to the, the object that we have set up. Here we go, conveyors. They're kind of expensive. So we'll go ahead and buy a whole bunch. They're going to get stored on that little object for me. Let's see, put these here, over here. And as we attach them to the, uh, the object with a conveyor, not a conveyor, but a, uh, what are they called? The receivers it's going to snag all the stuff around it. So it doesn't matter that it's a little higher than the, the objects around it. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and go down this way as well so that you can get the ones in the back. Again, it doesn't matter if it floats above the object a little bit because uh, like I said, once you put that receiver on there, it's going to pick it up. Actually, it doesn't seem to wanna hook on right there. Uh, well, I guess we'll go this way then because it doesn't wanna cross over that other way. There we go. And one more. It won't exactly reach all the way over here, but that's fine. I'm not too uh, worried about that. Again, this is only a means to an end, so we can start building the airplane stuff. And then later on, we'll come back and, and work on this to make it even more efficient than it already is. But again, uh, that, that's something that could take a very long time to get that set up to be... Uh, come on. Please, just click on it. Oh, geez. And I can't zoom in any more than I already am for some reason, because uh, when your bot's, uh, you know, this big, it just doesn't like doing that. Here, come on, put it on, put it on. Come on, just attach. It's not that difficult. I just want you to attach. There, you, are you attached? No, you are not attached. You're just floating now. Uh, okay, we're just going to attach these wherever they will stick for now, and I will worry about messing with uh, the attachment later when it's off camera, and you guys don't have to sit here and look at the uh, frustration of trying to get it attached in certain areas that just do not want to uh, attach that way. Or if they do, it's like a split second and then it's gone. Like right there. Like I'm not even moving it very much at all. And right there, yeah. It, like it clicks on and then clicks off. There. Oh my god. you got to be kidding me. There we go. Okay, you guys are on there now. And it still won't do this, uh, this area over here for some reason. 
How about now? Will you guys take that? Yeah, well, at least you guys will take the stuff off of that side. So you guys got that going for you. Let's come over here and see if we can pick up the rest of those objects that are uh, that are just sitting by. We'll let that pick up as many as possible. Tons and tons of stuff over here. You can see I was taking some damage on the back, so I'm not uh, quite sure what was going on there. We'll have to uh, play around with putting some repair bubbles around in different areas as they get more and more damage. But again, I'm trying not to do too much with this bot. Come on, let me get the airplane piece. Let me get the airplane piece. There we go. Got it. Uh, where do I put it, though? That's not going to get sold. Uh, can I attach it anywhere? It's too big to get attached. Uh, why won't it... Uh, why won't these go? What, what, are they upside down? I mean, what's going on with them? They should be able to... Oh, you know what? There's no receiver over here. That's why. The one place that should have receivers, I didn't attach any receivers to. Hmm... How are we going to do this? Let's let's move this. Uh, it has a spot for it. So let's let's just put some receivers over here. We're going to have to remove this and take one of those over here. Mm. No, we're going to have to move it over even more than that, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Oh, crap. This is not going as well as I thought it would, guys. Okay, how about I attach you there? Oh, man. We're going to need a lot more receivers. And this thing needs to be reorganized so much. So let's take that off. Put that on there. It's going to pick everything back up. Now will you guys carry it down the row? Still won't carry it down the row. Are you guys kidding me? Okay, well, at the very least, we can pick this stuff up. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to mess around too much. We got 9,700. That's not too bad. I think that's close to what I was hoping to get. I was hoping to get about 15,000 before we start messing around with airplanes but we also have a few extra parts already from the airplane so shouldn't be too big of a deal and i'm guessing this is just too high up because now it's not auto selling so let's let's lower that down if we can let's put it down on this one and will it take the stuff off now kind of maybe no still are you kidding me it was doing it before and now it won't do it at all Oh, man, you guys drive me nuts. Okay, how about we take the block from up here. We'll move it right there, and we'll move it down one so it's even lower than it was before. And we'll have it spit out a little bit so it doesn't get stuck on anything there. There we go. How about now? Will you sell it now? Any of it? Oh, my God. Why is it so fickle with where it needs to be? It was working just fine, and now it's not. I don't know, guys, but I think what we're going to do is go ahead and end the episode here. I'm going to uh, set this thing loose here in a few minutes. I'm going to take all these items off, sell those. That's probably going to give me enough money. And on the next episode, I will have at least one airplane built, preferably two, maybe three. And then we'll go off on our, our new design here. But again, this is a good way to kind of clean up the area with a bot like this. I don't know why it's not working like it should it definitely was at the beginning. You guys can go scroll back and watch that if you kind of missed that beginning part of the episode. But it's uh, it's kind of cool. I like it. Just uh, it, it frustrates me and just, you know, how weird it can be sometimes. I do want to give out a shout out to uh, Luminary Zion because uh, she's done a lot of videos with me lately. And, uh, you know, it's been uh, nice to have her out. She watches uh, the Terra Tech videos at uh, one time speed or one at one one point five, I should say, speed. So it's really weird to hear that. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. So, yeah, again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.